This is something we've been waiting for for 17 years. We've known he was innocent all along, and I'm so glad to have him coming back home with me. Well, I texted him, and he was a couple of few seconds before he could talk back. He was so happy. He's over the, he's over the moon. He served the sentence he was convicted for, and the reason he served more than the parole, minimum parole eligibility is that he's always said he was innocent. You know, it's a hard, hard thing, and we've seen it again and again, to sit behind bars and say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, when if you just say, okay, I did it, you've kind of got a ticket out the door, and uh, we've seen that with a lot of people, none, I think, any more uh, convincingly than Wade Skiffin. The problem with this case, they unleashed this really potent technique that gets people talking, but you kind of have to listen to what they say once you've got them talking, and on every kind of box that you might check to find corroboration of this confession, it doesn't check out. And, you know, I think we were able to illustrate that to some degree in, uh, in the hearing a couple of weeks ago, and I think Justice Tamman got it. It's a um, Kafka-esque type of situation to find oneself in, to be locked up if you're uh, truly innocent of the crime you were accused of. So I think that this has been very difficult for him, um, and it's not the end of the road yet.